All right, Pisces. Treat me nice, please. What is going on, baby? It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. And I am back at it again. One time for the one time to let you, 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 and you know what is going on for the month of July 2020. Show me the money season. Yes, baby. You better know it. Thank you to my OGs. Thank you to my new Thank you to every last one of you who have clicked this video, who has liked, shared, and subscribed at any time. Shout out to every last one of you guys that has been booking personal and private readings. You guys have just been like really doing the damn thing. And we've been like really in some amazing energy. So listen, I thank every last one of you guys. And if you would like to show any level of support to the page or book a reading, just click on over to the about tab on my YouTube page. My pricing list is there um, to connect with me. Send me a message on Instagram. If you do not have Instagram, you can send me an email, um, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> my bad, you guys. Excuse me. You can send me an email and we can get you set up on Google Hangouts, okay? So, um... As you know, we always give love and light and praises to the Father, the Creator of all things before we do any anything on this page. We always give thanks. So let's just real quickly just, you know, just, you know, talk to the Lord real quick. So, Father God, I thank you so much for just showering down blessings in our life just giving us just like a safe haven to just sit back in the hammock eat a sandwich and a little lemonade you know what i'm saying play a little spades you know we just built on extra chill mode like father god like really just relaxing and like catching the breeze you know and like um and you know catching the breeze keeping your mind at ease like we built on real relaxed chill mode like for whatever reason there has been no need to like stress or worry about anything we just been straight up cooling like on everything just cooling and we they just said we ain't gonna complain no more it's like whatever has been transpiring it's just like teaching pisces to just relax and just let things happen naturally. Like everything is going to be what it is. You know what I'm saying? And intuitively, we have our own instincts where we know how to act and move. And but right now, it's about just cooling out, just being real smooth. You know what I'm saying? Things are real predictable right now, and we kind of like it that way. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing to make no big fuss and no worry about. So we just thankful to just be in a place of peace. You know what I'm saying? Father God, praise Him. Shalalah. Come on now. Shalalah. Okay, Father God. <laughs> Shalalah. So I don't know. I just felt like something hot on my side. I don't know why I feel like someone might. Um, Someone might spill something really hot on their, like, um, right thigh. Um, like, in the middle of your thigh, someone might get burnt. So, y'all watch out for that because I did just feel something hot, you know what I'm saying, on my thigh. So, watch yourself. Make sure don't nobody spill. Like, it's a hot tea. It's like some really, really hot tea. And it's like y'all got it in one of them damn thermoses that, you know, them little uh, tin thermoses or something to be having and stuff. It keeps it real scalding hot or something. And it's like y'all going to spill it on y'all leg or something. So y'all be careful. Anyway, so Father God, let me tap out of me just, you know, channeling and just, you know, going right here. We just need to just um say thank you. Say thank you. We were saying thank you and just giving us um the time to just bond with you right now. And we just feel like we're in safekeeping. And we just give all praise and just thanks to you and just ask for blessings ahead and just give us guidance for what you want us to know and just what you want us to work on in the month of July uh, 2020. Show me the money energy, Father God. We just thank you. Amen. Okay. I have not been in like such a relaxing like energy like <laughs> like y'all on super chill mode. Like wow. I was just like in a very tranquil <laughs> space. Like wow. It, yeah, okay, y'all saying I'm just happy. Like, okay, I'm just happy. Good. That's amazing. Come on now. Let's see what's going on. 
Hold on. Look, giving and receiving. Come on now. Look, I'm just happy. <laughs> okay. I'm in a state of peace and giving and receiving. Like, look, I t didn't I tell y'all y'all been outside chilling in the wind, just like barbecuing. Just like on like I'm serious. It says the entire universe operates in cycles similar to inhalations and exhalations. Okay. When you only exhale, give, or only inhale, receive, you become out of rhythm with the universe. For optimal health, energy, and replenishment, balance each inhalation in your life with an exhalation. You know, things are transpiring the way that they're supposed to. Finally, things are coming in appropriately and things are going out appropriately. Like... Things are finally able to breathe in Pisces life. And I get it. And I love it. Give me guidance about, um, you know, what we need to do to just continue to manifest more of this abundance for my Pisces. Listen, Pisces, treat me nice, please. Pisces is like, listen, I learned to treat myself nice. Listen, avoid any type of conflict. And, you know, so... This is the Five of Swords in the reverse. Typically, um, it's like avoiding any type of unnecessary arguments, conflicts. Don't be trying to do anything underhanded, or sneaky, or manipulative. Because I think you know at this point when you go about things the wrong way, thinking that you're going to be slick, things blow up completely out of proportion that sometimes you may not be prepared to get you know to get down with like that you don't, you know what i'm saying like you might end up really getting caught in a serious battle that you might not have predicted and it's just better to just try to find a compromise in life and just strategize and do things the right way so it's something about this stage in your life it's like you know what I give, I receive right back. So, it's, I don't even want to argue with you guys. I don't even want the drama. Ain't no point in me sneaking around and look. I'm about to just say what I need to say. And we can just come to some level of negotiation. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to sneak around me anymore or be on an attack or feel like I'm trying to one-up you. It's like, kind of like letting down on that energy and just trying to be combative you know what I'm saying or just like I said just like even people being around you feeling like you trying you know what I'm saying like swindle or maneuver in any type of way it's like I'm grown past that it's, it's I feel like life has shown you like I said that it's not worth the battle and the karma that comes with going about things the wrong way and you think better of yourself and you want people to think better of you you know so it's avoiding unnecessary conflict where you are being the target of bad karma do you understand like that's really what it boils down to for the pisces it's karma <clears throat> you got the page of vessels in the reverse Okay, and then you got the ancestor in the reverse. So, what this could be saying is I feel like you may be re okay, so you may be like rejecting love from like a loved one or something, something like the um, they're saying the. The matriarch or the patriarch of your family tree or, or something. It's like, um, I feel like there hasn't been any like open level of communication in regards to, um, a family dynamic because you feel like there's a controlled situation there. And I think you finally found a level of harmony and peace. And that's why I'm saying I feel like, excuse me, there's, I think there's like a gnat or something flying around. Um, 
there's a level of oh y'all just said I something about y'all feel like they just don't love me anymore and it's just like I haven't been wanting to talk to them because something about having to abide by some rules or, 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 or something like that and it's like regardless if I don't live by your rules you still gotta show you have to show me that you love me still it's like I'm not gonna do things your way but And then whoever this is, I feel like this is young with this page of vessels. It's like this person is still very young. And I feel like this person is still very impressionable. I'm getting two different stories here, which is good. But at the same time, I feel like there's a group of people that have just matured. Because with this gold here, I feel like this is a mature energy. But at the same time, it all runs together. Um... Someone just does not want the energy of constantly feeling like they're being victimized by an onslaught of just verbal assassination, just verbal abuse, just, you know what I'm saying? It's like, whatever it is, it's like, this person learned to avoid it because it's like, I'm greater than that. I'm the GOAT, you know what I'm saying? Like, regardless of how these people try to attack me or make me feel or victimize me it's like I refuse to be the victim and you know I just humble myself and I just find it even compromise with it I'm just I refuse to even argue with them or even let them feel like they can it's like I refuse to give people space to put me in a predicament where I'm uncomfortable where I'm gonna say where well, I feel like I'm attacked and I'm going to say something that I regret. Or put people push me where I feel like I got to deal with you in a certain way that's going to bring me negative karma in the end. So I do feel like um, there might be a level of control. Um, I feel like it could have to do with a family dynamic. It could be a marriage. Um it could very much so be a controlling marriage where someone could feel like they're dealt with as if they're a child. And it's like, I'm not your child, you know. Um, I don't I don't move that way. You, you can't just talk to me like that. You can't show me love in that manner and think I'm just going to accept it and I'm going to abide by these rules. And you think I'm going to be faithful and I'm going to be loyal to someone that isn't showing me the type of love that I'm I, you know I I need to receive for the nourishment of my body in Christ's name amen like you know what I'm saying like I don't want to eat this like I don't I don't want this this is not what I've been praying for um and I feel like someone's tired of fighting and I really do feel like it's like some type of verbal abuse that someone is just like I'm smarter um I'm smarter well, I just don't even go in that direction anymore. Um, I feel like a lot of it has to do with maturity and just realizing, like, that's not the type of love that I want to experience anymore. So there could be a breakup or there could be some bad news coming to someone, you know, um, but there's just not a connection on that level. I don't feel like there's an emotional connection on that level. And this, po this person is um, avoiding any type of drama. So it's like I might not be answering your calls right now. Because I know if I deal with you that I might have to. Im it might involve either... Something I don't want to abide to or something that is complete, completely out of my character or is going to pull me out of my character because you don't know how to talk to people. You know what I'm saying? And it's like they're trying to find a compromise to still give me this. The green woman. So it's like 
some type of mother figure that isn't necessarily like a good representation of a loving and doting mother it's like this woman argues a lot like she yells a lot like this woman doesn't really do a good job of taking care of the children meaning that the house is like always dirty um and just like always complaining it's like always complaining like never happy like this woman doesn't even cook or like that like they, they can always be eating fast food like always feeding the children fast food just the foundation just a little shaky like she's just not well equipped to I don't it's like have as many kids that she has I feel like this is someone that has a lot of kids but maybe just overwhelmed with the responsibility or just might have mentally tapped out for some reason you know what I'm saying and it's just I feel like this is someone that has because with this big pot right here I feel like she has to cook for a lot of people you know what I'm saying and the green witch is someone that's supposed to be natural or something. It's like this person is supposed to be like very natural, very earthy and all of this stuff like that. But it's, it's something that is not very earthly about her because it's like, why is, no, I'm sorry because I don't mean to go, be going in. But it's like, why is your house so dirty all of the time? Why you... Why is it so much fast food? Like, why the kids' hair not done? Like, why? It's, it's, it's certain things that, like, not helping with the homework. Like, not taking care of the animals. Not walking in. It's like this person is, I don't, I want to say, like, lazy and argumentative. It could be bossy and controlling. And it's like... And this is something, like, even the kids can feel this way as well. Like, the kids can feel this way. Because this is, like, verbal abuse and things like this. This is, like, not... Whoever this woman is, I feel like, I don't know how she fell into this way, but it's really not the way that her ancestors really taught her to be. I don't know what made her fall into that, but I do feel, I feel like this is a masculine energy that's having to deal with. It's like they're trying to have to find a compromise because it can be very frustrating. Um... It could be very frustrating. And I feel like that's the real reason why this divorce happened or something like that. And why y'all don't talk as much. You know what I'm saying? Because this woman may treat you like a child and verbally abusive and just want people to see it her way. But she won't listen to anybody about the things within herself that she need to clean up and focus on so that she could be, you know, like I don't... Child, I'm sorry. Let me get into this a little bit more because y'all already know Pisces is going to let me tell it. <laughs> Pisces is going to let me tell it. <laughs> okay. Please um clarify this five of swords in the reverse in this page of um, cups in the reverse, this page of vessels because it's like. Mm -mm. They're still they're still saying like verbal abuse in control and like this Pisces has got themselves in a predicament where they are in a way better yeah it's okay so with the great bear in the reverse this is like the this is this is the judgment in the reverse so there's like not only is there a lack of judgment I do feel like there could be some level of court involvement in some in some way where it's created a situation where this person isn't able to do certain things anymore. They may not have access in some type of way. And as you can see, you see how aggressive this bear is and everything. It's like get out. So I don't I feel like 
someone might have been locked out or forced out of a home or forced out of a situation. Um, they're saying that this is someone was seeking control and got put out in some type of way. It's like they, they said they put themselves out for some reason. Clarify the great bear, please. Okay, y'all. Okay, child. I wasn't even trying to read like this. I was trying to do my regular spread, child. We done went all in, so all it is. Child, you, you got the moon. You got the six of stones. You got the seven of vessels. Bitch, you got the lovers, and then you got the page of arrows. All right, so basically what this is saying here is it's like this judgment in the reverse. It's just saying just things is not necessarily going in the way that this person predicted it. Um, I really do feel like with this moon here. It's like, I feel like this, the, 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 what's being hidden here with this moon and the six of, it's like their tools are being, it's, this person doesn't have the tools to pull in the amount of money that they need to like take care of themselves, you know, and like that's the hidden truth behind this person's control and your anger and things and I, I want to say like whoever this woman this female this empress in the reverse energy is it's like um she might be in over her head with the amount of kids that she has an amount of responsibility that she has and could be going through like some depression or something that she's not talking about and that's why she's so aggressive and abusive like I feel like this person is unhappy because this person may have like the uh what they say the old lady that lives in the shoe got so many kids she don't know what to do like that's kind of what I'm getting and it's like throughout the anger and the whatever you want to call that energy like the secret is inside this person feels like a victim to their own circumstances and it's like i don't really have the tools and the tools that i have it's like i have to work myself ragged you know in order to make ends meet and it's i really need your help and things and it's like this person is i feel like they're all out of options right now. It's like they're out of options. They're out of options. I feel like this is someone that made the same mistake twice. It's like I should have I should have learned with the first one. And then I fucked around and had two more. You know what I'm saying? And now I'm in a situation where I'm broke down, bitter, and poor, having to beg, feeling like I have a lack of resources and things like that. And that's really where the bitterment and the anger comes from because it's like this person's choices and life decisions. And it's like I, I do feel like a level of this person being burnt out. Um with the amount of responsibility that they have. And it's like they're aiming all their frustration and shit at you. You know. And it's like. Hey. I'm just trying to find a compromise here. For us to get. You know what I'm saying. Along. So that we can do. What we need to do. I know that there's no love here. You know. Or. You know. But I don't have to. In order to communicate with you. I don't have to deal with your abuse. You know. Um. I don't have to deal with your abuse. Like, I can go elsewhere <laughs> and be happy and just live my life just pleasant. You know? Um, and it's like, what you put out, you get back. So, this person learned the hard way when I fought with this person and 
I would succumb by their energy and their anger and their bitterness and things like that. Like a whole bunch of negative things happened to me. So even though I don't particularly like this person or want to talk to this person, like I have to, it's like with this lover's card and the pay, it was just the, the page of arrows. So like, I basically feel like this woman is still in love with this man and it's still like, I feel like her heart might be frozen, you know, but things are cold. Like, I definitely feel like this is a cold element type of person. Like, just might, in general, just might be a very sharp-tongued individual. Like, might be very educated or anything like that, but I don't... How do I say this? This person is definitely watching you, Pisces. Because I feel like this person is still... This person still keeps a watchful eye. Because it's like, even though y'all are not committed and things like that in their heart and their mind, like, they're still committed to you in some way. Because they still look to you to help them. And to, you know what I'm saying? Like, they may be in a point where they're tired of crying. And they may be trying to find a way to stop self-victimizing themselves to their own energy because really they're they're doing nothing but hurting themselves and their own children and I really do feel like this person is responsible for whatever breakup happened whatever divorce whatever separation whatever it was that made this person realize I'm tired of this frustration like I, I, I don't want to commit to this this isn't healthy for me no matter what, it's like this person still kind of loves you, uh, Pisces. Like, and I feel like they're trying to search their cold, bitter heart for like a way, number one, to tell you. Um, and I don't mean, and if there's any cross watchers, like, listen, number one, I don't read for cross watchers, so I don't even agree with cross watchers. So, like, because when people cross watch, only thing you want to do is get your feelings hurt. <laughs> Focus on your own energy and what you need to know about yourself, your love life, or whatever will come out of your energy. I don't ever tell people to cross watch. But if you are cross watching, and if anything that I said hurt, if this is depicting you, how this person feels about you, or just how the Lord is looking down at how, whatever this is, is this is <laughs> the truth. You know what I'm saying? Regardless, it, and, and with the moon, it's like, regardless if you really want to expose that or not, but there is a scorn energy here of someone that is, uh, just feel like they have a lack of options, that they are having to beg someone that they love deeply for real, but they don't even realize how they're being abusive to this person. Like, it's about mental and verbal abuse and just constant arguing and things like that. And you can't treat people like that and think that you're going to have many options in life and like things are going to be good for you. Like, you have to realize and pay attention to your. And that's why it's like this page of arrows is right here. It's like you're having to start. From the beginning and reach deep within yourself and try to figure out what it is that you think love is and what love is to you something that is truly naturally and natural and beautiful beautiful it shouldn't be where every other day you you on an attack or you at the other end of a vicious verbal onslaught you know what i'm saying like that's not love that's not love and communication and, and no one wants to be about be about that or wants to be around that. This Pisces wants something that's natural and giving, not something where it's you know it's like I feel like with this is like someone is like almost begging for forgiveness because 
the secret is like this person really wants to come back and beg for forgiveness because they realize that maybe they they tried every single cup out there that they thought was an option and it just ain't it just ain't it you see what i'm saying it just wasn't what the fuck they had and right now it's like i feel like someone learned the lesson i feel like someone's but like someone's aggression and someone's communication skills and things like fuck something good up and whoever this is, they avoided it and they went the other way. That's what I'm feeling. And they're relaxed and they're thankful. I want to say this. This is the truth. This <laughs> I told you the truth hurts. This is the truth because it's like you can't. Think people are going to continue to deal with, you know what I'm saying? This person said they relaxed by the by soft voices of a hummingbird. Now it's like this person is in a tranquil, peaceful space, and it's like in some way I do feel like because of the hierophant and the reverse is there that this could be a couple that was married um the green witch in the reverse it definitely says that y'all had kids with each other it's a mother you know what i'm saying she's just lost her way seriously and she might be having to start from the beginning and pick herself back up but this page it's like start all over because the page of swords is someone that is having to think from a mature angle before you jump out there and just prematurely say and just do anything and just, you know what I'm saying? It's like, think, look at everything that has happened and how you feel now, what life has created for you. You're on the back end side of justice. You understand what I'm saying? So... It says, see your light, know your power, have your courage to walk your truth. You hear that, Pisces? So, you know why you don't communicate. And you know at this point in time right now, like, even with all this stuff being said, you know your truth and why you walked away. And that's and that's bottom line. And that's, and that's how I'm going to put it there to you. And only thing you're trying to do right now is avoid the frustration with dealing with this person who secretly is still in love with you. But this person is having a... What is going on? Y'all, I, I apologize, child. That's my kids. Let's see what's going on in the love situation. <laughs> Mary Shelley. Oh my goodness. So I forgot. The door. All right. All right. Y'all be quiet. I'm recording, okay? Okay. Thank you, baby. Mary Shelley. Like, this came out in someone else's reading. I can't remember who else's reading this came out in. Um, my goodness. It says, the beginning is always today. Elegance is inferior to virtue. Okay? A slavish bond. Hold on. <laughs> a, sla a slavish bondage to parents cramp every faculty of the mind. This is basically saying, listen, the beginning is always today. So it's like you could always change your current life's advances. It's about, I feel like someone realized in order for things to get better for them, for them to actually be happy in their life, they realized that regardless if this is what this person depicts as love, you know what I'm saying, which clearly they have no idea what true love is. Love doesn't hurt. You see what I'm saying? Love doesn't leave you coming back begging for forgiveness. Like, because that's literally 
what I'm getting here. And I don't feel like this person is choosing you because I feel like this person over here is running far away from this because they want something that is naturally and abundantly given and receiving. They want a calm, peaceful, and tranquil situation. They want a full fat belly. They don't want to come home to a bitch that's ordering fast food every day with this empress in the reverse and don't never cook. The kids' homework ain't done. The hair ain't done. The house is dirty. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know, I understand that everyone work and we all got responsibilities. I work too, but like, we got to eat. You know, like the house need to be clean. It's just certain shit as a woman and you're taking out whatever you're angry about on me and the kids. You know what I'm saying? And I feel sad. I feel bad for whoever these children are. I really do. You know, and it's like this person here with this Mary Shelley is like the beginning is always today. They decided right now or maybe if a, a long ago that. I have to put myself in a more giving and receiving situation. If I continue to give to this, I'm just going to get more of this nightmare. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like this may be something that Pisces helped create it. And it's like it's Pisces did something that helped create it, but they can change it today by just not giving to it. And just again, like. Like I said, not giving into it and just trying to be as peaceful as you can. It's like even if this person is trying to incite you by wanting to argue and just be bitter and just act like a bitch or whatever the fuck it is. When you completely pay that energy absolutely does and don't give it no power. Look, don't give it no power and just go, hmm. They seem mad. Well, I'll just call you later. <laughs> and like literally just like peculiar creature that is. Um, yeah. Tell the kids I'll call them later. You know, blah, blah, blah. And just go on about your business and just find a different way to talk to your kids. Or just, you know what I'm saying? Just not even like allowing that type of energy to interfere in your blessings like at all you know elegance is inferior to virtue do you understand like no matter what no matter what you think or anyone thinks I'm destined to be or whatever because I'm flipping it both ways because I really do feel like this person is regardless of what their virtue is here in this situation because I do feel like this might be the father to someone's kids or vice versa however it goes into your life you understand however it rocks for you I feel like your elegance is trumping your virtue and the last time I read this card, I read it the correct way. But in this situation, with this Five of Swords being in the reverse, like you being intelligent enough to realize that this person is still immature and trying to find their way. And really the reason why this person is still bitter and angry and acting like that is because they're still in love with me. And this person is trying to hide that with the moon, you know. And needs to go into, you know. Now you coming back begging and, and look, what's this says? Exploitation. Looking to exploit me. Looking to exploit me. Trying to use the kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever you need, of course, you know I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to take care of you. But it's like, you know, the true reason why you coming back begging is because you should have learned your lesson and you went looking for other options and you picked the wrong one and you kept picking the wrong one and you kept picking the wrong one and you kept picking the wrong one and you realize that the true the real situation and the true Dundada is me <laughs> you understand you destroyed with your attitude and with your own negative energy for whatever reason. And I really do feel like this Pisces feels like sweetness. Whatever you was going through. Like you could have just talked to me about it. Like let's tell truth. Like let's call it a thing. Like if you was going through postpartum depression. If you like whatever you was going through. 
you could have just talked to me. You know what I'm saying? You could have just talked to me. And I feel like this person made the same mistake twice. You know? And that's what created the monster. A slavish bondage to parents cramp every faculty of the mind. So it's something about I'm trying to tell you the weight of being a parent of what they this person created, this green witch in the reverse, this empress in the reverse. That is what cramped the mind. And I feel like the, I feel like someone suffered from like some heavy postpartum depression. And it's like the house that they created. Like I feel like they loved the person. But the responsibility of just being a parent of all of those children and things that they created and stuff like that. I want to say created some level of postpartum depression and made this person, I don't know. But I really do feel like some truth is coming out here, Pisces. And I'm sorry, y'all just got a long ass video. Because <laughs> like some truth is being spilled today. What is this saying? The aid of chalice is exactly like that. Is why this man, she had to watch him walk away. That's why he decided to leave. Because he could not emotionally deal with the abuse anymore. Child, what is this? The truth in the reverse. It's like this is something that I feel like this man doesn't really want to tell this woman I feel like this is a Pisces man this is what I'm telling you right now is the dead ass truth as to why this man left and he doesn't want to tell her this because it's hard to tell a woman like man you wasn't cooking you wasn't being to him you wasn't being a good mother that was marriage material you know what I'm saying you wasn't Keeping up with the shit. You know what I'm saying? You wasn't keeping me happy. You wasn't keeping the kids happy. You know what I'm saying? And that might be a hard truth that someone doesn't want to hear. So instead of just telling this person how they really felt about her, he just fucking have a lie or just left. You know what I'm saying? And now every time he deals with this person, it's like he has to deal with some level of be victim of even more abuse and things like that. And it's just like that's not what I'm doing anymore. This person is focused on it. I really do feel like this man is moved on and focused on their work. And I feel like it's trying to paint a better picture of like true partnership. Like this person has. I, I do everything that. Do everything that they have experienced together. Um, this person realized the amount of hard work that. A relationship and a partnership takes and this person may have I've been getting some counseling right now from like an elder or from like another artist or somebody that they are really close to that they really respect and they might be telling the truth to them about what really happened and it's helping this person be able in their mind to be able to paint a better picture of what a true mother, a true queen, like a real partnership is. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, this is the world in the reverse. So, the world in the reverse is basically saying, like, this chapter isn't over. You know what I'm saying? Because in some type of way, I feel like This person still has something to give. And I feel like this person isn't just giving up on love and just moving on with life and not allowing himself or herself to receive the true blessings of what love is. I feel like this person had to learn a lot about their self. Excuse me. And look at the truth for why this relationship broke up. And um, I feel like they're trying to paint a better picture and it's not ready to move on um, without their queen, without a picture. I, I feel like this person has this fantasy of 
this imagination of togetherness and of true partnership, you know, and um, it just takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of work. I don't see this person coming back to her. He looks at this situation as a nightmare, most definitely. But I feel like this person isn't ready to move on with their life until they meet the one that is like truly their destiny to meet and be happy with. Um, I feel like this person has searched within their self long and hard. Um, and it's did a lot of self-studying and, and self-discovery about who they are inside and what they really want. And it's like, I'm not about to let this situation, nothing or nobody, steal my happiness, steal my joy. Um, and I don't feel like this person is going, is, is hiding anymore at all, you know. So there could be somebody else that they have pictures of or they may be picturing or whatever um especially if you're divorced or something like that this person it could be another woman that they're picturing or that they have in the picture right now do you understand what i'm saying that this woman may have to understand you know um and I, I feel like there's someone else in the picture for this person. And I, I do feel like whoever this man is, is putting the right type of work in for the right type of queen. Like, this woman has green on. Like, she is the epitome and the definition of love to him. Um, She's the real green woman. Not that one. Like, that. Not that. I don't. That was a nightmare. I don't know what the fuck that was. You know? But, um... This person is not willing to move on and to he could fully come out with this. Um with the hermit, I mean with the um hermit in the reverse, it's like this person is kind of I feel like this person may be hiding some girl. It could be someone that they work with too, or someone that's been working with them. I don't know if this person could have fell in love with their teacher, their counselor, or something like that. Like, it could be someone that they do some type of arts with or something. I'm saying spiritual arts. I don't know. Whatever the fuck. Um, I feel like it's somebody. I feel like this person fell in love with. They're saying like a goddess. She's a queen. He's, this person is saying so much beautiful stuff. Whoever this person is made them stop where they were going and go inwards and think about the cycles of life, like what they went through in the past, where they're at presently, and looking at the future. And it's like, am I going to just stop my world because... Of my experience of this person. Like I don't give a fuck if this bitch is bitter. And I'm not going to lie anymore. About who I have in the picture now. The truth is the truth. You know what I'm saying. What we created was a fucking nightmare. It is what it is. I do feel like there's a sense of responsibility there. I feel like this is like an ex-wife or something. But there is someone in the picture. And there's a perfect picture being painted here. And I feel like the only thing that is stopping this thing going forward is because this, this man needs to come out in the open with this. Like, you don't need to keep your relationship indoors and things like that. Just come on out so you can keep on going. Like, whoever the fuck got a problem with it. They, if they decided they want to live in a fucking nightmare, they can do it. You understand? But I'm in a more... Get I told you this person is in a healthy, happy situation. Like, this person is good. This person is a peaceful life. They're learning from all of their experiences, and they're fucking happy. I'm sorry that you're unhappy. 
But that's why I moved away so that I could be happy. And even if this is the hard truth, the truth is the truth. You know, this person is still in love with someone who's in love with them just being fucking happy. I don't want to come home to arguments and fussing and fighting and you yelling at the kids. and the, I, don't, I don't, that's not what I want. It's not what I want. They found what they want now, though. But you need to have the courage to walk out on your truth. Period. So, you guys, this has been your reading. I hope that uh, this brought some clarity and truth. Hit the like button if y'all would like to book a personal and private reading. You already know what to do. Peace.